Hi guys, straightening or curling of hair is fun, isn't it? But when you wash your hair, it come back to its original form. It's actually Mr. Keratin that doing the all magic here. But what if I told you there are some building material which has flexibility to remember their original form. And there do exist such building materials known as smart materials. So this video is about smart materials. So the question is what is smart materials? Why there is a need of smart materials? And how many types of smart materials have been invented till now? In a nutshell, smart materials are the materials which remember their original form or which come back to their original form by changing the properties. So these materials are also known as responsive materials because of their responsiveness. Let us see the types of smart materials. First one is the electricity sensitive materials. Basically the material which respond to the electrical impulses known as electricity sensitive materials. And the best example of this type is cellulose nanofiber. Cellulose nanofiber is basically when you treat the chemically treated cellulose nanofiber with untreated one, it will produce an electricity and these electricity can be used for other purposes. In addition to that, these cellulose nanofiber actually make smart food panel, provide you aesthetic appeal and warmth of a timber. Next in the list we have the shape member materials. So basically the material which changes their shape after any deformities or changing the properties known as shape memory materials and the best example of this type is hydromembrane. Hydromembrane is basically a passive self-regulating material which works on the principle of biomimetic ventilation and cooling effect. Unlike the conventional cooling, this one is highly energy efficient. Shape memory basically adapts the environment and regulates the interior temperature, pressure, heat and light. The second example of this type is breathe brick and as the name suggests, these materials work on the principle of geothermal structure and it provides a passive solar cooling for a human comfort level. The inside layer insulates the interior and enhances the ventilation by stack of it. So these materials provide 100% protection from the coarse materials such as sand and 30% from the heavy pollutants in the air. So these materials could be proved to the most sustainable material before and after the pandemic effect. Next material in the list we have the chromoactive material. So basically the material which changes their color in a variation of light, temperature, heat is known as chromoactive materials. And the best example of this type is photochromatic lenses. So basically these lenses provide protection your eyes from the harsh sun rays. Next in the list we have the energy exchanging materials. So basically the material which exchanges their energy or which store their energy in the form of light heat is known as energy exchanging materials. And the best example of these type are homeostatic facade. Now imagine there is a facade in a building that moves according to the outside air or according to the temperature. Like flower their petals opening up in a sunlight and closing down at night. Next is, so this homeostatic facade is a thermoresponsive building scheme that flexes to open and closes as solar heat or falls acting as a barrier. Next in the list we have the photoactive materials. The materials which absorb the heat during the daytime and radiate the light in the night is known as photoactive materials. Not just emit the light, it is also a green construction materials can be designed to eliminate the highways, pathways and road. And the ex best example of this type is bike path in Edoven in Netherlands is the best example of it. They have used the light generating concrete in a road. So basically how it works, uh, that concrete absorbs the heat during the daytimes and it's radiated the light during the night. So inspired by classic painting, the starry night, Rosiger designed this bike path stimulated by solar panels. So that's it guys for today. Let me know in the comment below which type you have amazed most. And if you found this video useful, then please do hit the like button, share this video with your friend and subscribe to our channel. Thank you so much for watching. We'll see you in the next one. Bye bye.